Good morning! How are you? Today is our ancestor reading and uh, it's quite early here in California. This is filmed at about 6 a.m. I'm very, very sleepy, but something kind of charged me to profess a video for the ancestors. A lot of you have been actually telling me intimately that your ancestors have kind of shown contact. I think this is important to stop on our journey, our spiritual journeys, and realize that we do have help. There are outside forces that are bigger than us, always, in no denial of that. And we must protect also what our ancestors do tell us. So I do think Libra, just because this is the sign that um, is of balance and harmony, you know, and we are in constant state of trying to manifest within that harmony. I think that we forget that these guides are a big part of why we have these small successes and the big ones too. Um, in the very early onset of the channel, when this was this channel was just picking up, there was a lot. There was an ancestor reading, particularly then, that I felt um, it just had this really special feeling in the video. I felt like that day too, they really came through, like they were speaking through the cards. So today we are reinvigorating that notion. We are paying homage to the ones that have gone before us, that have crossed over, and that still have pertinence in our life. We might not see it with our visual senses. We might not always hear it. Uh, we might not always catch on to the signs, and maybe we are in denial of when they come through. But when they come through, it's special, okay? Um, and when you kind of know it and you receive those small confirmations, albeit they be small, uh, it's usually somebody telling you they're thinking of you, they love you, and that there's a deep, deep wisdom behind what they send you because they've seen more crossover and they've been able to see life everlasting. Okay, big message, I almost cried. <laughs> so for me, uh, this is my mother. My mother has always kind of been the, the mainstay if I've ever been sad or if I felt lonely. Um, when I first got sick with ulcerative colitis, things like that. I felt more of a connection actually to the spiritual world than I ever had. Um, that was a really big thing. So we're going to begin here with a three card split. I hear that and I feel it. So I always go with my emotion in these readings. Three card split, first message from the first ancestor coming through. Be the page of swords. I hear that and I feel it in this card. Today somebody needs to know, and it also ironically being air air element here. Libra, I feel like you are the page of swords right now in your life. You kind of have those days where you're fighting with sword, but now it's like with knowledge. I mean, look how beautiful this astute student of the world is. There's a lot of youth too here. Um, I get immediately just from the bow in her hair, if you look closer, there's like this red passionate bow that's in her hair. And when she holds that idea balloon, that's what it basically is. It's an idea balloon. It means that no matter what, you must charge forward with that youthful energy and that burst of good luck. Also, too, here, for someone who has, like, birds and the winged ones, you know, if birds are, like, a really big thing for you on a daily basis, too, and you see them a lot and they're, like, your messengers, I think Libra, like, this bird that comes and tells you little things, I, I think like could actually be an ancestor, like someone who completely watches over you. When I got sick with UC, I would always see this particular, it's even on my Instagram, you, you would see this like crow that would visit me every day. And I thought it was my abuelito because he was full of wisdom. He died at a very old age. He was also in the military, so he saw a lot. And I felt like this crow was like always watching me and there was a sense of humor to it. There's a lot of like, I'm watching you, be careful, watch your step. Um, and I remember that really early on in my awakening. And it's on my Instagram, it's like this constant crow that would be at the same spot. And one day I filmed it, I spoke to the crow, I said hi. And it actually like gawked back. And I, I believe it's in my story still. Amazing, amazing. First message from the ancestor Libra. Page of Swords. They know that you're the Page of Swords. They know you constantly co-create. And they also know that you know that you get visited. Okay, I hear that heavily in my ear. In one ear, but I hear it. 
message for Libra from their ancestors. Third card split again. This one kind of jumped, so I'm going to take it. Cancer energy, the chariot. Okay, moving on. I also hear again, greener pastures. This ancestor that's coming through in today's reading, also look up 515 because that's the number I, I kind of saw right now on the screen. It was very, very, very prevalent, 515. We got Chariot and we have Libra, our own energy or air. Um, this could be kind of the advice, like an ancestor's trying to tell you is like, move on to better, move on fast. And also the Chariot is like charging energy. Yesterday we talked about electricity being like a huge thing this week for us, like charges that are coming into our reception of the universe. I think this chariot also means that you got to move quickly because they see the timeline for you type of energy. If someone also feels that here too, please let me know in the comments. It's like an ancestor coming through that says react quickly because it's not always going to be there, which is very grounding for someone here too, because we don't have all time is relative, right? But we don't have all of it in our consumption. So I think this is uh, saying seize the day sees the opportunities there's a definite ancestor two of cups i get this that this is like their energy with you libra i don't sense like they're gifting you with a new love it could be i mean i'm not exactly like an expert here on them not giving you the love um of this new person but i feel like this is like what this ancestor is feeling for you right now they want to remain close to you as you can see here it's like hand in hand we do this together Two of Cups is not always romantic and it's not always a new love. It's also a relationship description of how things could be. So this ancestor saying, I walk with you. I feel with you. I've seen your tears. I know the pain. I watch you. Uh, definitely, that's a huge one today for this ancestor that's coming through. Three cards split again. Ancestor coming through. We'll take the left. Ooh, our card, Ace of Swords on this journey of development, growth, expansion, Ace of Swords. They know that you're enlightening, Libra. It's like they know that you're doing the work. They're aware that you have spiritual knowledge. They're aware that you're walking with this. And they're, I get here, they're, they're aware that someone here, like, it, it's almost hidden. Like your spiritual knowledge is being hidden and has to be shared. It's meant to be passed on, I hear. Definitely for somebody. Um, I definitely think someone here has to share more. And your ancestors know that you carry this knowledge and that you keep it sacred, but it's like almost to yourself. Like you don't really tell a lot of people. And it has to be shared. We're going to take the right right now. Six of Cups. Oh my God. I almost cried. 8082 on the clock. This is somebody coming through saying they miss you. I'm going to cry. Somebody is coming through as the Six of Cups. Look at this. I hear, I know, they know. They know what you're doing. They see you. Definitely. Six of Cups is the ultimate premium card for I miss you. It's like literally the only one in the deck that I can readily think of that means I miss you. I got really emotional when that came out. I was not expecting that. Um, whew, six of cups for somebody here. And I get chills like right now. My heart's beating really fast. I did not expect that. This is someone who's coming through saying, I miss you. The love is still there. Six of cups. I think of you. I wonder of you. I hear wonder. I need a moment. <laughs> that was intense. That got to me. Um, Six of Cups too is like, even if they're passed on, you know, this is something I want to bring up. If they're passed on, there is a sense of reminiscing. Um, passed on loved ones can see back into the past. Uh, it's almost like very, very visual for them because they're no longer with us, but they're able to rewind. Six of Cups, they miss you. They're coming through as a almost like wanting to be next to you all the time. Libra. I'm a, I'm certain of that. I could feel it in all of my bones right now. Whew. Whoa, that was like a surge of energy. <laughs> Libra. Three card split is lucky. Let's do that for, for you today. 
another one. Eight of Swords, our energy, keeping with that air energy. They know here that you're a Libra, <laughs> for sure. Eight of Swords is uh, unblinding to certain myths that you've created around yourself. S self beliefs and old beliefs that no longer hold their weight. I think too, this ancestor coming through is saying like, drop, drop that baggage. Uh, almost like it doesn't work for you. They know it doesn't work for you. And I think they're saying, believe, I hear a believe how beautiful that you are inside and out. This is definitely for someone here today. Believe in your beauty. It's all bees too. There could be someone significant here that has a passed on loved one with like the name starting with a B. Um, I also hear uh, Alyssa or Aline. Um, definitely that, like Alina or Irene with that ringing. Uh, there's definitely like they're coming through saying, please believe how beautiful you are. They're saying it. They definitely feel it. Um, and they want you to believe it too. That's what I get here. It's like, why don't you see it? Type of thing. Ancestor, three card split. We're going to do one last message here from your person that you're thinking of above. I hear card three. I hear it. This was the third. This is Hermit. Someone here has Virgo or the passed on loved one here today was a Virgo. Like I get, they were a Virgo, you're a Libra. They're saying that going within is the answer to all your questions. When you restate things to yourself, when you affirm, I'm also hearing that. I think that they actually see when you go in your hermit mode, Libra. They know it's like the, the days you do deep thought, they kind of know about it. And uh, they encourage you to go deeper, definitely. Because they, I feel here like the deeper you go, you're going to find something out that's going to be really special for you. This could even be like physically finding something too. Or maybe you've lost something of theirs, like a token, something they've given you. I just hear go deeper, go deeper into it. That's a huge message for someone today because um, they say you will find it. That's um, it's actually hitting a little close to home. I definitely feel that. Ancestors, that was so beautiful. When the Six of Cups came out, I got really surged with a lot of energy down my back. Definitely. That is for someone here, this whole combo. It's like they know of your spiritual gifts. They're glad that you found it and you walked into it. That's huge. They know of it. And they were just waiting for you to catch on almost. I have to post this video this morning because somebody needs this. Three of Swords. They know of your past heartbreak too. Bottom of the deck. They saw the agony, the days of crying. Look at this. They watched you go through this, Libra. They wanted to be there for you at all costs. Even though they're not here in the physical. We're going to end there because I feel like this was such a complete bottom of the deck too. death. They see your transformation. Uh, somebody's passed on loved one here too. They see like the road you've been on. I, I, I see like the word road in my head and they've watched you go down it no matter how difficult and you always came out on top. Huge message, Libra. Ancestors coming through today in many, many layers and it was powerful. I'm even like energetically affected by this. This is such a beautiful reading. I'm going to go and cry now. <laughs> Libra, blessings and always um, remember that they're with you on this journey while, while you find yourself. Okay. Um, they're here. They're representative. They've shown themselves in the cards. Um, they've spoke here about love, loss, and watching over you. Message. Love you, Libra. Talk to you tomorrow.